Hey guys, so today I'll be covering the newest article released by Intrepid Studios, which is the Law of the Hippogriffs. Okay, so new article. What have we got? The Law of the Hippogriff. I like this photo we have here. It's new. I like it. Very nice. We have a little video. I'll we'll have a look at that later. So, all right. So here we go. Since ancient times, the hippogriff has been a symbol of noble and majestic strength for numerous cultures. Okay. They are cunning and fiercely independent creatures. A rarity it is for one to have the opportunity to collect close enough without being torn apart by their piercing beaks and talons. However, those fortunate enough to form a bond with a hippogriff will find them to be a loyal being. Will find them to be loyal beings, my bad. Almost to a fault. It is a sight to see a hippogriff and its rider leading the vanguard of a prestigious army. Such is inspiration they bring. I'm sorry, but I, I prefer to call them griffins. It's just how I am. I, don't judge me. Okay, I like the, the models I got here. In fact, there are. What am I saying? There are. I like the different color variants we got here, especially the black one. I like the darker version. So, war wind. So, is this a breed? The mainland hippogriffs that permeate the lands of Vera have evolved to be a hardy and resilient breed. This breed is named for their legendary prowess throughout countless conflicts. On the ground or in the air, the war wind hippogriff is quick to react. It is unexpectedly agile for a being of such prodigious size. Befriending one is a precarious venture for they are highly temperamental around strangers. However, should one succeed, a person will be hard pressed to find an ally, a stalwart and deadly in all of Vera. Okay. I like the way they describe these things. It's very um, artistic, poetic. I mean, remember, these are like uh, uh, new versions. Uh, they're obviously not the final design. They'll be obviously improved a lot over the next year actually so we got like a picture of it flying hovering okay so we have another breed nighthawk nighthawk hippogriffs are bred for speed and as such they are granted to the kalar's most distinguished outriders and cavalry so kalar humans if i recall these particular hippogriffs are adept at swiftly exploiting an exposed enemy flank where other hippogriffs may may have already found themselves at the mercy of a deadly counterattack. Okay. So these guys are swift, they're on the go, they're on the ball, they're ready to go. Okay. In addition, the Nighthawk's striking hue and reserved temperament makes it perfect for staging operations under, under the guise of darkness. Okay. Few beasts are so feared when the sun falls beneath the horizon. Watch out for these guys. I did say I'd like them. Sickly, that might be a reason <laughs> without even realizing. Okay. Oh, okay, just like the last one, we get different shots of it. Yeah, okay. Next one. Oh, we have a winter type. Winterhawk. The famed Empyrean Winterhawks are a special breed. Oh, a special, special breed of hippogriff. Born to withstand frigid temperatures that would hobble even the boldest draught horse. Okay, Empyrean Mountain Strongholds are some of the most fortified owing to their secluded nature and the ever vigilant watch of their talon defenders. Those who have survived an attack tell only of a biting bolt of feathers with claws shredding and tearing their flesh, for the creature disappears as swiftly as it strikes. Due to their prowess, these hippogriffs are some of the most sought after in the land and the appearance take great pains to keep them out of the hands of the unwanted parties. Okay. So these guys are the ones you want to be going for most of the time. Interesting. They're sneaky. The inconspicuous. Okay. Oh, and we got like armor sets. Iron Quill Master's Barding. This particular barding has been domed by numerous hippogriff riders fighting on the front line. Experience in battle has taught the Kalar that though armor is critical to survival amidst a sea of blades and broadheads, too much plating inevitably hinders the hippogriff's ability to maneuver and fly in combat. That is true. The design has been refined in what, into what it is now. Affording the hippogriff much needed protection whilst giving the four legs and wings clearance to move without hindrance. Okay. Oh, I definitely like the sound of this. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, we've got a colored colored version here of the armor. I want to be able to customize this. And then we have another one. So, a barding of the bright. 
Brigger. Parents have always had a taste for the grandiose, but even something as innocuous as vanity funnels into their combat doctrine. This striking gold and silver hippogriff barding protects its wearer, yet instills fear as sure as death itself. Bro. Many an army has been struck still from the <laughs> telltale glint of shimmering gold coming from the corner of their eyes. By the time they react, it is usually all but too late. I love how they like really go into descriptive writing here. It's, um, it's really good. It's impressive. It's amazing. Right. Okay. So hippogriffs are just one example of how our animal husbandry system will allow you to create a variety of creatures to utilize as pets and mounts. Okay. Whether you prefer the agile feline limbs or the griffin. Thank you. <clears throat> With a strong steed like hind legs of the hippogriff, you'll be able to enjoy a diverse spectrum of breeding options within Ash of Creation. Okay, we'll have more information in the future, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, that was the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future uploads on the channel.